What's up everyone? It's me, Bobby G, and I'm back for level 2 of Tomb Raider. And I was so excited to bring you guys level 1, and we got 100% completion with all the secrets, and I'm just gonna cut... <laughs> Cut the BS, folks. I'm rip raring to go for level 2. I'm having so much fun, and I've only been playing one level. So, I'm just going to get right into it, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go with level 2. And, as I've mentioned before, it's been so long since I've played this game. Um, you know, it may, it may well be blind. And, funny enough, the demo spoiled this for me. I recognize this this room from the demo. Um, <laughs> and you might have seen it too. And every time the demo starts, uh, there's plenty of shooting going on. So I actually knew that those, those wolves were about to come. It's funny how the demo spoils itself. Spoils the game by accident, rather. And... I have no idea what I'm even looking at here, folks. Uh, we have another lay of the land to investigate, basically, and I'm going to do my best to make sure we do all the things we're supposed to do and, and get to the special places we're supposed to get to. And, you know, these t videos might not be very timely. They might take a long time uh, <laughs> if you choose to watch all of them. But that's just the way I play, folks, and I think I have to stick to it. I like to be m more than thorough when it comes to games and levels like this. Um, more than thorough is how I like to be. So we're just going to keep with that theme. And if you guys enjoy it, I hope you do. And we never know what we might find here, too. We have to pick up all sorts of random stuff. And uh, my slight childhood memory... Uh, I know there's other weapons, uh, from my childhood memory, rather, I know that there's other weapons that will eventually... Oh my god! No, no, no. Um, well, I am in trouble. I am in trouble. I am in a lot of trouble. I am in a lot of trouble. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Well, I didn't know that was going to happen. Oh my god, let's use a large med pack before I forget. And <laughs> let's save the game while we're at it, huh? How about it? Oh my goodness gracious. I had no idea that that bear was going to be there. I can't believe we survived it. If you remember, of course, from level one, we did not... Uh, fare too well against the bear we ran into in level 1. And, well, this looks like actually like a trough for feeding. So, I mean, I guess it actually makes sense that a bear would be in here. And here's like a stable. Oh, this is very interesting. So, like, what the heck was going on here that there was basically a stable with a bear in it? That is... Something else, if you ask me, ladies and gentlemen, that is... I just can't get over thinking, like, what if you seriously came across all this stuff? You know, if you're exploring some temple that you're terrified of, it would be surreal. And this roof here just looked like it wanted me to jump up on top. What's up there? Anything particular? So I just thought we would check out what's up here. Uh, I'm not sure if there's anything up there important or not. Excuse me, folks. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. I had a little bit of a cough there. Um, I even... I kind of forget what I was going to say. Oh, it just looked ripe for the, the picking to jump up there. And we got a small med pack for our trouble. And this obviously catches my eye here. Uh, we're going to have to do some swimming. It's, it's looking like, ladies and gentlemen. And that swimming was one of the most uh, nerve-wracking moments from my memory. <laughs> Obviously, you have to do it, get to where you're going fast enough, or else you'll drown. And you, well, they never made it too easy for you to know where you were headed. And that's where we came from, over there. One of the first uh, hallways we looked at, right here. I'm just trying to get a lay of the land. 
it's always good to take out whatever random monsters are going to be here, and these bats are more than easy, and lucky for me, I have pretty much unlimited ammo from the look of it. Uh, I certainly don't see any kind of number of bullets left, at least for my pistols, so that's nice. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything because, well, I have a... Is that a key? Is that a keyhole? Or is it... Well, I'm not ready to go in here either way. I either need a key or we're going to have to press that. I'm not sure which it's going to be yet. And I feel like I'm getting a little lost. I think this is just one giant uh, square, basically. So I'm hoping that... Ooh. They're just waiting in the shadows to jump out at you. And I can see a little med pack here in the bushes. Never hurts to pick up a couple of these, folks. Never hurts. Come on. If we can get right on it. If we can get right on it. So I'm hoping, anyway, I think back to what I was saying, is I hope that this is one big square around that center uh, that center room. And is that the case? I feel like I'm really getting lost here. And I think so far that is what's going on here. Obviously there is the, the pool that we saw initially. So, oh boy, oh boy, a couple bats. Nothing too crazy, folks. Nothing too crazy. But I have to get the... Li okay. Okay, well this really is a big square. Now that I've pretty much ran across the whole thing. Very much so a giant square. And... You know, so far I don't feel like I've seen any secrets. Um, I know they're going to get harder to spot as time goes on. I just know it, folks. But I'm actually a little worried because, well, if I don't see it, I don't see it. And then what else can you do? You're in trouble if you really have no idea where it could be in the whole level. So I'll just give a brief little overview here, and I think we're ready to try one of these doors. I do believe that that is the next step. We're going to try one of these doors. And... You know, I'm not sure. This actually looks like... Oops, this looks like a door that's going to have to get open from somewhere else. So I don't think that that is a door we can deal with at the moment. And nothing too particular on this wall, except here it looks to be uh, some kind of lever. Obviously a lever here, so why don't we just go for it. We're going to have to pick one of these eventually. So why not just right now, we go in here and see what the heck's going on. And I don't think there's any animals that I can see, but... Well... <laughs> well, it certainly looks like a civilization was here, and it's kind of funny. I don't recall from playing this as a kid, I don't recall all this stuff that... I mean, this is just a bunch of hides laid out to dry or something like that, dude. I mean, it really looks like a population of people were living here and for more than just uh, you know a day for sure they look like they're even cultivating bears somehow which uh I'm not all that sure how that would go in real life but all right well here is obviously where we were down there and this room over here looks well there's two things that jump out obviously a wall of skulls that's a little creepy. And a large med pack. Well, who am I to be afraid of the unknown? So we're just going to go in here and continue to take a look around. And boy, oh boy, folks, I really have no idea what's going on here. These panels look like they're going to fall. And when they fall, I'm going to lose my chance to get that large med pack. So what I'm going to have to do is jump down and then just immediately jump. And keep jumping and hope I can get across there. 
So I'm just going to do it. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> and was I correct? Indeed I was. The panels have fallen. And we are one large med pack richer than we were a moment ago. And I am going to be a bit of a worry wart. And I am going to save my game. Oh, would you look at this? We actually even have the title of what this place is called. And it very much seems like a city. Um, to at least to some very small degree, the city of Vilcabamba. It's kind of a goofy name, but I guess not if you're from Peru. That's probably not that goofy. So, alright, well, obviously we uh, have to get out of here somewhere. And here's one of those blocks that I was remembering in the very first level that you kind of have to pull. I think you could either pull or push. And you can either usually do it in all four directions. And, uh, you know, it becomes more apparent which direction it should go as you do it. And this just looks like it is meant to be put here. I don't know if that's true. But it really does just look like it fits there, so I'm going to leave it there for now. And we're going to check out, well, the next room some bats hanging around. Obviously some pottery. I mean, the further we go, this the more this looks like a city. Can you take care of these bats once and for all here. And, you know, I just really have no idea. What is that? Maybe that's the key that we have to put in that other door. I mean, it doesn't look like a key. But it sure does look like a figurine that might get pressed into there. Looks like some kind of idol. Like a little idol. Very interesting, if you ask me, ladies and gentlemen. Very interesting. And these pieces of pottery don't look um, too crucial to anything. And speaking of keys, well, here is a key. And it looks like a skeleton key. So, okay. Well, this room was quite important for a couple reasons. I wonder... Uh, the importance of that idol. Is that going to act as a key? Um, and I tell you what, this just looks like I want to get up there. This just looks like I want to get up there. And you know how we're going to do it, ladies and gentlemen? You know how we're going to do it? I bet you do. I bet you do. We could have pulled, or pushed, I guess. We're going to pull it now. But initially, we could have pushed this big slab, I believe, uh, and it wouldn't have hurt us, hurting, hurted, it wouldn't have hurt us, but, uh, just a little, I feel like it's good to be safe, you never know if you're going to push yourself into a hole, or, well, you just have no idea, but now, it becomes quite apparent that I'm going to use this thing to... Well, just le at the very least, see what's above where those keys and the idol were. And I'm not sure if that'll also be our exit. I'm kind of hoping it will be, because I'm not sure how to get back out of that room we were just in, to be honest with you. I'm really not sure. And boy, she sounds like she's having a tough time with this gigantic rock. And to be honest, well, who can blame her? And all right, here we go. More bats. Well, okay, it's quite apparent that we should be here. More bats, more bats. Why are these bats attacking me? You think at least some of the bats would just want to chill? And this looks like a, a cooking pot of some sort? It's kind of a strange place for a cooking pot. I don't, it's on a wooden platform. You wouldn't think that would work out the best, but there's certainly two... Um, I like this texture, it just follows you no matter which way you turn. But there's obviously two chairs next to what looks like some kind of makeshift dinner table. That's uh, pretty interesting. Let's just make sure there's not much else. Yeah, there's just rock up there, so I guess not much to do going up. Of course, we have here another large med pack, which uh, I'm not sure how much of the small heels versus the large, but, well, 
I'm sure we'll figure it out eventually. And here, of course, is where we came from yet again, because there's dead bats. So we'll... Apparently that was what needed to get done in that area, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if I recall correctly, there is... Well, this might be one of the doors with the key next to it, and it is. And it definitely is. And there's nothing really... You know, this is making me suspicious, though. Like, there's probably... Ah, there's no ledge up underneath the rock or anything. So we at least know our next move, and that is to get in here with the key. But I am... My curiosity is overwhelming me at this point, folks. And it is overwhelming me uh, in regards to the pool that is in the middle of this room. I really would kind of like to dive in there and see what the heck is going on. I mean, it has to be here for a reason. Um, now, maybe if we hadn't played this game at all before, we wouldn't realize that there's... Pro and you can even see it on the very bottom here. Uh, a very likely, good likelihood that there's a tunnel underneath. But I have played it at least enough to remember that that's a possibility. So... Oh boy. You know what? I would even like to be fancy. One of the things I remember figuring out when you're a little kid that was really pretty awesome was you're able to actually dive into water. Let's see if I could pull it off. Let's see here. <laughs> Nothing more satisfying than diving into the water. And I also remember that there could be animals here. There could be animals in the water, I think. I think there is crocodiles. Oh, dear me. And right away, I thought we were going to be um, in a position to get some air. That is not the case. Now we're gambling, folks. Now we're gambling, because I have no idea if there's Okay, I was going to say, I have no idea if there's air over here, but there is. There is, there is, there is. And, oh boy, that is scary looking. And I am just going to stave off my curiosity for a moment, because, well, there was an entire other room to check out, to, to be quite frank. And I think we might have to... Well, I don't think I needed to come back up here, to be honest, but we're going to anyway. We're going to anyway, because it really did give us a good head start when we dove right down, so why don't we just do it again? Why don't we just do it again, and right away, we're going to fully check out that other room now. See, I panicked the first time. I didn't know, you know, how we were going to get out of there, or what the heck was even going on. Now, over to the left-hand side, there looked to be something on the wall here. A lever. I have no idea what this is even going to do. But we may as well pull it. And, okay, it looks like that other room is probably decently responsible for something. And I'm going to very, very quickly attempt to check out this, the rest of this place. And here's another lever. Oh, look. Oh, gosh. Okay. No. Go down. Oh, we're in trouble now, folks. I can't steer my character correctly. Oh, dear. No, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. Can I... Oh, gosh. Can we do it in time? No, we're not gonna do it in time. <sighs> that would have been our ticket to get air. That would have been our ticket to get air, folks. Hey everyone, Bobby here with a director's note. I think that this untimely death is the perfect place to split this video into part one. Please keep an eye out for the additional parts that'll come later. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.